New York City is still recovering from Ida, and today Mayor de Blasio, along with Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and some FEMA officials, they will be surveying the storm damage. Now, they're visiting hard-hit areas in Queens where some families are still dealing with the financial and emotional impact. CBS News' John Diaz is live in Woodside this morning with more. John? Good morning, both of you. Yeah, now tour will begin here on 48th Avenue later on this morning. We're actually right around the corner from where that two-year-old tragically drowned with his parents in last week's storm when their basement apartment flooded. That storm really changing the lives of so many people. This morning, the initial numbers behind Ida's sheer devastation in New York are coming to light. Governor Kathy Hochul estimates 1,200 New York homes were seriously impacted by the storm, equating to well over $50 million. Officials are now able to apply for federal funding to help with things like temporary housing, home repairs, and legal services. Last week, Mayor de Blasio said this city is reevaluating its evacuation system, something the governor said yesterday is a must. I believe there has to be a better warning system for people who are in their homes. There's a human being living in there or multiple human beings living in that space and we need a system that's going to alert them in not just in English but in multiple languages to let people know that they are in danger. The potential warning system though coming too late for this Hollis Queens family. Very, very frustrating. Uh, I keep playing up. Um, sorry. This homeowner walked away during our interview after being overwhelmed with emotion. A 43-year-old mom and her 22-year-old son who lived in his basement died. His son says they were killed because fast-moving water flooded their home on 183rd Street. The whole block became a raging river during last week's storm. They're like family friends to us. We're all living in the same, same house. It hurts. It really hurts. Now that the flooding has cleared, homeowners are left with the pain of what happened. Over 100 neighbors showed up for a vigil and to express their outrage Sunday, they believe this all could have been avoided if construction on their street was done correctly years ago. And they brought in the wrong sewer pipes. Something is wrong where the city is refusing to accept that the construction engineers that are doing this work, they don't know what they're doing. Now, Ida's price tag is a far from final. Officials believe it will only go up. Meanwhile, President Joe Biden is scheduled to tour some of the hardest hit communities, both here in New York City and also in New Jersey. We're live this morning in Woodside, Queens. John Diaz, CBS 2 News. John, thank you.